A CBC News investigation is raising questions about an RCMP officer's conduct and that of an Alberta Crown prosecutor following an assault caught on tape. Charles Rusnell has been digging into this story and he has the details. You're about to witness a crime by a police officer. Eric Ouellette was the victim, now watching the silent security video two years later. It was captured at the detachment when he was brought in on a drunk driving charge. Must have said something wrong, uh, and he pretty much loses it on me. RCMP Constable Sean Kropelniski was the officer. The assault was way over the line, says this expert in justice ethics. The police are professionals. They're supposed to have more self-restraint and be more in control of their emotions than ordinary citizens. Then, less than three months later, Kropelniski was accused of assaulting another prisoner. The RCMP recommended charges. This is conduct that uh, um, we don't expect and we don't accept. The file went to this man, Crown Prosecutor Kevin Fody. Kropelniski was charged with two counts of assault. When Willette, an oil rig worker, heard about the charges, he figured the system was working as it should. Kind of glad, you know, he might actually get his just deserves. In court, Kropelniski pleaded guilty. But when it came time for the judge to watch the video and pass sentence, there was a troubling twist. Prosecutor Kevin Fody told the judge, we have a video, unfortunately, the video is not working. So the judge had to rely on Fody's description. Mr. Willette sitting on a chair. Mr. Kropelniski uses both hands and pushes him off the chair onto the ground. He then goes down and grabs Mr. Willette and pushes him up against the wall. The judge asked, that constitutes the assault? Fody replied, that constitutes the assault. There is absolutely no mention of being placed in the chokehold. There's no mention of receiving two elbow strikes to the head. Fody's description troubled the ethics expert we spoke with. His description appears to minimize it in a way that borders on deception or even lying. The judge agreed to a plea bargain. Kropelniski was given a one-year suspended sentence. The second charge of assault was dropped. Mr. Fody, I'm Charles Rusnell with CBC Television. I, I got it right here. I'm sorry. I, I'd really like to ask... We approached Fody at his office after he didn't respond to our interview requests. So we'd like to talk to you about that if we might. Yeah, I can't right now, but uh, I'll get back to you. I got your voicemail. But he hasn't. Alberta Justice told us it reviewed the case and found nothing wrong. Meanwhile, Constable Kropelniski is on desk duty pending a disciplinary hearing. As for Fody, he resigned, citing personal reasons. Charles Rusnell, CBC News, Edmonton.